So, <laughs> Where are we on, on, on the war in Ukraine. Hey, Simon. On the war in Ukraine, is it the assessment of the president that Ukraine is winning the war against Russia? And on, on your job at the White House, because I've been trying to ask this question, it, there's, there seems to be some confusion about what your role is, what type of question should we ask you. Sometimes you act like the second press secretary. What's, can, can you explain exactly what, what, what your job is at the White House? Uh, and, and if you're a second press secretary, or, uh, what type of question should we ask you? Is it on food? Is it on national security? And, and the reason I'm asking this is because almost everywhere I go, I have black people telling me that the reason you're at the White House is to undermine the first female black secretary. So can you clarify that and explain why, uh, you know, there are a thousand national security experts uh, at the National Security Council who can always be here and, and take questions on national security. So what type of questions should we ask you that we can? Well, okay. On your first question, the, uh, the president has spoken to this uh, many times, and in fact, just in the last few days. I mean, what the Ukrainians have been able to do in the last week or so has been impressive on the battlefield. There's no doubt about that, particularly there in the north. They have been fighting for seven months now, going on seven months, and doing it bravely and skillfully. They have been on the offense as well as the defense, depending on the situation, the day, the time, and the place. Um, and what the president believes is that what we're going to stay focused on is supporting them for as long as it takes to make them successful on the battlefield and successful at the negotiating table if and when it gets to that point. But only President Zelensky can determine when that point is. And only President Zelensky can, uh, uh, can define success or failure. He's the commander in chief of his armed forces. Our job is to support him. And it's not just the United States. It's more than 50 some odd other countries. And I look on your other question. Um, if anyone gets any kind of idea in their head that, that I'm uh, taking away from Corrine or her work, that's really regrettable. Um, and, uh, and I'm very sorry that that's any impression that anybody would have. I am simply working at the National Security Council on National Security Communications. And uh, with her good graces, I'm able to come up here every now and then to talk to you about simply national security issues. That's my portfolio. That's where I'm limited. That's where I'll stay. And I do it at her, uh, at her invitation and, uh, and with her approval to come up here. So I, uh, that, that's, that's the focus. I'm happy to answer national security questions, and, okay. and that's about it. Thanks, John. We're going to do like one last question.